Hello, good afternoon, I'm back, Lutra FM, with another episode of the Retro Database Coventry Save, um, 2007 to 2008 database. And where you left us off last, we managed to get um, to fourth place with uh, four wins, four draws and zero losses so far this season. 16 points accumulated so far. And in the last episode, um, we won 1-0 against Burnley, drew 1-1 with Col uh, Colton, sorry, Charlton, beat Blackpool 3-1, and then drew 1-1 with Crystal Palace. Um, we've got Southampton, Ipswich, Preston and Stoke in this episode, so some tough games ahead, but we'll see how we get on. And uh, I'll be back in a sec with the first game of the episode. Right, I'm back. Um, I hope you're enjoying this series. Let me know if you are or aren't. Um, you know, because I know there was a bit few people that were a bit upset when I when I stopped the Dynamo Tilavlisi Georgia national team save. Um, but because the, the views were not very uh, there weren't many views, so I stopped doing that series. I've had I've had more views in this series, so I'm hoping that you prefer this one. Uh, I like I like it because it's going it's it's I never, I never thought I'd enjoy the nostalgia ones where you, you, because you know all the players that are going to be good, but because I'm purposely staying away from all the, like the Messi's and the Ronaldo's that end up being brilliant on the game, um, I'm buying, I'm only buying players that I think Coventry would buy in real life, so it's quite enjoyable. Like Danny Pugh, for instance, he's a typical Coventry sign-in, um, but yeah, we've got our first game of the episode against Southampton, so let's just crack on and see how we get on. Uh, I did have an, a very nice break for people who only watched this series. I had a nice holiday, got to relax, got to recharge my batteries, ready to go now with this. So thank you for people who were catching up, watching the videos from this series. I do appreciate it. Hopefully you'll continue to watch them. But yeah, first highlight goes to Southampton. We've managed to head it out though. We're now in possession, Osborne. Best gives it to Misford. They uh they got good little good little partnership. Best and Miss uh Misford. Is it Miss? How do you pronounce? Yeah, Misford. Misford. I think that's how you pronounce his surname. Osborne with the corner. Headed out. Goes straight into the goalkeeper's hands. That's the end of that one. Okay, Sam Panton with the corner now. Parnaby, former Middlesbrough player. Oh, that was a good goal. Raziak, that's another blast from the past, isn't it? He was a good little player for Southampton back in the day. Ah, not the best start to the game, losing 1-0, oh, losing but we are in the mix. Uh, we've got a better XG than them, so hopefully we get a couple more shots. We might end up scoring in a sec. Here we go, Osborne with the free kick. Quite far out, let's see if he can give it to one of our players. Headed out, Misford with the ball, goes past the player with skill. Oh, he's up for it in this game, isn't he? Corner to us with Osborne. Floats it up. Saved by the goalkeeper, though. Oh, yeah, I stubbed my, I stubbed my toe three times yesterday, um, diff different times. I'm a right bloody clumsy bugger lately. The uh the second one really hurt as well. I think I bruised my little, my little tiny toe. Not good. Anybody else uh, who's just stuck their toe, they know all about that. All right, McNamini gives it to Tav. Passes inside. Oh, what a pass to Misford. Oh, come on. We've had our chances here. We should be bloody drawing at least by now. Oh, here you go. They're going to score here. Dyer. Oof, hits the post. Tab now. Can we can we counter attack you? No, we lose the ball. Leads to nothing. There we go. Half time. One nil down. We've had a we've we've been in the mix. Um, eight shots, six on target. One point zero six xg. So we have had our chances here. We need to just do better at taking these chances. Michael Hughes. That was a bit. That was a bit uh, ambitious by him, I'd say. Right, who needs to come off? Who's not playing well? Well, Tab's already... He's not. He's our worst player on the pitch. Oh, he 
he's injured anyway, so we can take him off. Right, uh, Osborne needs to come off. Put on uh, Doyle, and then we'll take off Tav. We'll put on Wayne Andrews. In fact, we've got to take off Hughes as well, so we'll put the other Hughes on. And then we can't take any more players off. With all what we'll do is we'll push our midfielders a bit further forward. Oh, no, that was a poor pass. Parnaby for Southampton. Licker. Toying with us there. Good, good block by our defender. Oof. Right, let's see if these subs can make a difference. Headed out there. From the free kick by Southampton, Andrews. That's what I like to see. Poor pass though. But at least he showed a bit of fight. Good save. Tell you what, bloody Dimitris is earning his wage today. As much as I think we should be uh, scoring, we've been very lucky not to lose this game like 4 1 or something. Thanks to Dimitris. Ah. Uh, oh well. You can't win them all. Right, we'll go attacking. We've got nothing to lose. Um, what we'll do is down there, uh, uh, run at defence, play for set pieces, be more expressive. And then... No, no, no. Uh, uh, take long kicks. Out of possession, we'll leave this up. Right. See if that'll make any difference. Probably not, but we've got to go for broke, really, to be honest, even to try and get a point. Yeah, 1.4 XGG. XGG? XG, sorry. We've had our chances, we've just not been able to finish it off. If we get a consolation goal, you never know. Might make the last few minutes interesting. Fortunately, it doesn't lead to that at the moment. Doyle gives it to Borrowdale, though. Borrowdale passes it to Hugh. Missford. Oh, that was a great finish. Right. Can we get a late equaliser? Probably not, but you never know. Mm, no. Oh, well. At least we've got a consolation goal. Wasn't as bad as we thought. But anyway, Tab's injured for three five weeks. One of our youngsters gone alone. Right, I'll be back in a sec with the next game. Right, we're back with the next game. We are playing Ipswich, which will be a very tough game. Um, but we'll see how it goes. I think the team's unchanged. I don't see there being... Uh, I think Gil Giddens is left back, but I think that's it, really. Let's see how we get on. Hopefully we'll do well. Get back on track. Uh, if we win this game, we'll, we could potentially get to second place if all the other teams play rubbish, but we'll see. Oh, look at that. Fifth goal of the season for Misford. Thank God for no VAR on this database. 1-0 to us, now fourth in the league. Got something to prove in this game after losing to Southampton, I think. Misford has just continued to be outstanding in this uh, save so far. Sixth goal of the season for him, or fifth goal of the season. Ah, and like that, they've equalised. That was a good free kick, to be honest. Right, back down, down the table we go. Seventh now. I do think we're going to win this game, though. I think it might take us a while to get our second goal, but I think we will. Uh, I've jinxed myself now. Elliot lines up for the Ipswich free kick. Yeah, like that. Shouldn't have opened my big mouth. Good, re good free kick, though. They are absolutely destroying us when it comes to free kicks at the moment. Set pieces in general. Right, try and demand a bit more from the players. Dazoo's not playing very well. He needs to come off straight away. Ben Turner can come on for you. McNamony's not playing very well. Have we got any right backs we have? Right, hopefully that'll fix it a little bit of it. 
Giddings. The ginger, the ginger Roberto Carlos, as I like to call him. Osborne gives it to Richardson. Richardson already doing better than uh, Namani did. Jay Spearing. Oh, there you go. Giddings. Nice to see Turner getting some game time as well. Michael Hughes. Passing it around, keeping possession here by the looks of it, trying to work it out the best uh, chance. Oh, Missford nearly scored again. Right, I think we need to take maybe one more. I think we've got one more sub left, so actually let's wait a bit. So we get a tired player in a sec. Actually, no. What I'll do is take off Hero on Wayne Andrews. Right, our goal kick. Let's see what we can do with this. Giddings. Misford. Back to Turner. So a very patient approach here. Let's see if this leads to a goal. Beautiful ball. I think he might be offside, but I don't think there's VIR in here, so it will just be a... There you go. Won't count. <coughs> as soon as they put their arm up, I know it's not going to count. Alright, can we take any more players off? Am I wrong? No, I am right. We can only have three subs here. Alright, let's try firing up the players. Go on, Turner. That's what we want to see. We want to see some fight in these players here. Giddings. 1 2 with Hugh. Turner over the top ball to Misford. Yes! Nice little link up there between our strike partnership. 2 2. We've still got time to get in, uh, a winner here. So let's see what we can do. Ward, Osborne. Yeah, I think this is going to end a win to us. I'm pretty confident. I'm not usually confident when I play this game, but I've got a weird feeling we're going to win this game in a minute. I think this is goal coming up now. Yes, get in. Look at me predicting. Oh, no, it won't count. Damn it. Uh, no, it'll probably end 2 2 now. That was our chance, I think. Oh, well, at least we didn't lose. Oh, Jesus Christ, why do I open my mouth? Good header out though. Which is still in possession. Oof. Right, I think this is probably the last highlight of the game. Fortunately, it's going to Ipswich. Oh, good header out there. Oh, no. Oh, no. That was such poor defending. Ah. <sighs> That was Turner as well. Such a shame for the young lad. Ah, I, I completely ballsed up that prediction, didn't I? Oh, well. Right. I mean, I think our aim this season is just to not get relegated. So we're on track for that. But I think as long as we've got Misford and Best, we'll be all right. Let's have a look at Club Vision again. Mid-table. So who wants to finish mid-table, which is technically where we are at the moment with top like top top end of the mid-table. Um, we're still decent chance of getting in the playoffs as well. We're just having a bit of a... This episode's not been the best episode, but we've got two games left. So I'm back in a second. We'll see how we get on with the, the rest. Right, we're back, and we're now playing Preston. Um, we'll see how we get on. Not happy with our defence last game. I'm hoping they play better this game. Um, pretty, I think it's an unchanged team. I don't know, I think Gideon, Gideon, Borrowdale's back in as left back, but um, Gideon's played alright last game. He wasn't the worst player on the pitch compared to the other defenders we had. If he was a right back, I'd probably have him in there instead of McNamini right now. Right, Preston's got the first highlight, a free kick, and they're going to, well, I was going to say they're going to score, but they didn't. Right, Preston's got another free kick. They're headed over. Like I said, if we win this game, we're probably back in the playoffs, maybe. We've got two teams only one point ahead of us. Or two points ahead of us. Uh, there's, there's the chance. But we'll see. We need to win this game first. We need to concentrate on that. Right, Caro gives it to McNamini. Beautiful pass. Go on, Caro. 
well defended. Oh, Borodale gets it back, but doesn't lead to anything. Michael Hughes is our best player at the moment by the looks of it, followed by McNamini. Nice to see McNamini making up for last game, trying his best. Straight in the goalkeeper's hands there. Uh, rest in peace, Sid Vicious, Sid Justice, Psycho Sid, former WCW and WWE e wrestler, um, or WWF, depending on where you want to see it as. But yeah, bit of a shame. I used to love Sid as a kid. It was um, in the mid 90s, it was him and Ahmed Johnson were my favourite wrestlers as a kid. Just two big guys, psychos, absolutely crazy. 1 0, get in. Um, but yeah. Such a shame he died so young, only 63 years old, died of cancer as well, so it wasn't exactly a quick death. It was probably a painful, slow death, as we all know from people we've lost through cancer. Um, but yeah, terrible loss to the business. Good equaliser, fair play to him, that was a good shot by Paul McKenna. 1-1 one, one at half time. First highlight of the second half goes to us by the looks of it. Great over the top ball to Borrowdale. Borrowdale to Pew. Get in. That's how we start the second half with a bang. Right, 2-1. Misford's really good on this game. What I should try and do is basically try and sign the players that Cobb signed in real life on the, on the game. See if I can make that as possible. There's um, Sammy Klingon who plays for an Irish team at the moment. I haven't got the money to sign him but I'll probably look to sign him as he he was a pretty good player for Cobb back in the day from what I remember. Right, the zoo needs to come off. He's playing poorly. Oh, we haven't got any centre-backs that can put... Right, great. Okay. Take best off though because he's knackered. Yeah, Mackenzie up front. Namini, Osborne. Little one two passing going on here, but nothing else. Caro. Yes. Is it going to count? Yeah, it's fine. Right, 3 1. Game over. We're back, everybody. Michael Hughes. Ah, oh, loses the ball. Maybe I jinxed myself then when I said we're back. If they get a goal here, it's, it's uh, game on as far as they're concerned. Luckily headed over. Uh, we really can't keep them on pitch, but we haven't got the up for Mark Saul in there. Right, all our subs are on. We just gotta make do with what we got now. Hope for the best. Marcus Hall's not playing too bad, six point six, better than bloody the zoo. We definitely need to get a better centre back than the zoo. So what I'll do after this episode is I'll have a look through the history books and see who Coventry signed over the next couple of years. And see if I can bring them in. Oh, what a goal. That was a great goal by Stephen Hughes. One of the best goals I've seen on the game. That was a wicked shot. 4-1. Absolutely destroyed them. Back on track. We've got one more game for this episode. So hopefully we can finish this episode on a high. Two losses and two wins wouldn't be terrible. It'd be like a 50-50 episode really. But it wouldn't be too bad. Um, we got... We've got Stoke City next though, and they're, they're a pretty good team on this database by the looks of it. So it will be tough. Offside, surely. That's offside. Not that it matters, we're winning 4 1, but yeah. There you go. Right, last highlight of the game, I think. Not bothered what happens. There you go. Should be game over coming up now. Excellent. 
So the game ended 4-1. We've got Stoke in 14 days. So I will holiday until then and I will be back in a sec with the last game of the episode. Right, we're back and we've got, like I said, we've got Stoke in the last game of the episode. Um, we've got a bit of a change on the striker front. I don't know why the assistant manager has gone for this. Is there... Uh, yeah, probably because... Oh no, Leon Best is on the bench, so maybe he's not 100%. Um, hmm, we'll just trust his judgment. So a change on the striker department, but we'll see. Everything else, is, all the, the rest of the team is the same. So I can only think that Misford is injured and Leon Best is not 100%. Because I think he just come back from international duty, so maybe the assistant manager is resting him because he's not match fit or something. Mackenzie holds the ball up, sends it across to the left to Pew. Pew loses the ball though. That was poor by Pew. Good header out. Lovely dreary day in Stoke with the rain. It always rains in Stoke, by the way. Only joking, anybody lives in Stoke. I nearly moved to Stoke and uh, I was on this Facebook group um, from people in Stoke and I was asking what areas are decent in Stoke and uh, the general advice I got was if you don't need to move to Stoke, don't move to Stoke. <laughs> yeah, score mine, Andrews. So even the people from Stoke will tell you how much of a, uh, a mess Stoke is. But I thought it was all right when I went when I went there it was, uh, for a, for a day trip to have a to go through a few estate agents. I thought it was uh it was all right. I nearly moved to Newcastle Underline, Underline, which is near Stoke. Um, that's a pretty decent town. Um, and then I nearly moved to Warrington, which is a bit further up. Um, the the bloke wanted me to move within like two weeks and. I couldn't move that quickly because I needed to sort out moving from West Midlands to Warrington and um, I also would have been out of pocket because I would have had to I would have had to leave two weeks early which meant I would have still had to pay the rent for that month and also pay the upfront costs for moving to the new place so I decided against it and then literally within about a week or two of me deciding against that move I met, well, I started speaking to somebody um, on a dating app who ended up being my girlfriend who I've been with now for about 14 months. So things work out for a reason. If I'd, if I'd have moved to Warrington, I probably wouldn't have been searching for women local to where, I, where I'm at now. Um, and I wouldn't have probably met her. So, like I said, things happen for a reason. Right, 2 now up. Nice to see both our backup strikers getting in the on the action. Uh, does Mackenzie have to come off though? He has for some reason. Oh well. Let's see what Kevin Carl can do. Good little uh, win so far. Not been really concentrating on the game because I was going off on a tangent about Stoke. Good interception by Kerry. He's He's having a great game. He's had two assists in this game so far. Cresswell, Lawrence. I'm just trying to see if any Stoke, if there's any Stoke play. Oh yeah, Ricardo Fuller. He was a decent striker back in the day. Right, so we're ending the first half, winning two 0 Just going to give the players a, a bit of praise. They've got a free kick though, over, luckily. Ward gives it to Osborne. Andrews. Oh, there you go, Danny Pugh, third goal of the season. Game over now, 3-0. Nice win to end the episode.
3 0. Let's see if we can get a uh, more confused. I need to come off. Put on his, his namesake, Stephen Hughes. Um, if, you if you said to me at the start of the episode, would you take two wins and two losses? I'd probably say probably because it achieves what I need to achieve for the season, finishing um, mid table, which is what the board wants. So I'd be very annoyed if I, I would be not I wouldn't say annoyed but I'd be very um miffed if we end up getting promoted to the premiership in the first season. I would feel like that's not that's a bit unrealistic with the team that I've got. And I'm not using a cheap tactic, I've just used a standard Gegen press. I know it's Gegen press but um you know we shouldn't be oh nearly then again maybe maybe on this on this game it's not the same as I'd say I'd say FM twenty four is has been has been very easy to to do well, which is which sometimes might not be a bad thing, but I feel like I've picked up I've started saves and finished them so much quicker than I usually do. FM twenty four or an FM twenty three, I've literally I've had like a million saves, I just get bored very quickly, which is a shame. Maybe I'm just getting bored of the game, I don't know. Um I enjoy doing these saves when I'm doing them online for you lot, but off, my offline saves, I quit. I finish a save. I'll do a season and then I'll get bored and then I'll start a new save with another team. Right, uh, that's it for today then. Um, I'll just move this across. Thank you as always for watching. Hope you're enjoying it. Hope you're enjoying the series. Let me know in the comment section if you are. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already. Please like the video. It all goes a long way into helping me. Um, and enjoy the rest of your your weekend and I'll speak to you soon. All the best.